What is that? What are you? What are you? What was that? What up, peeps, and welcome back for some more hot subnautica action with me, your friendly stranded Archon Kai. I want to thank you guys very much for coming to hang out with me today. If at any time you find yourselves enjoying the video, please don't forget to show your support and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, peeps, don't forget to subscribe as well. Just on our way back from, uh, from the dry land where we watched our hopes and dreams, uh, which, interestingly enough, right there at that cloud, uh, we watched our hopes and dreams go kapoof as the island destroyed our sunbeam escape route. Found this little bit of wreck here in the kelp forest, started cutting it open and thought, you know, uh, cut open to access, it's not letting me cut it open. I'm not sure why. Are we... Not cutting open? Why are we not cutting open today? I started cutting it open now, won't let me in it. It's it's interesting because it's it's making the noise. Like if I do it up here, it just Oh. Do do we have to change it a battery? If we go like that, will it do the thing? It won't let me open the door. Maybe if we just hold it long enough, because I already started it, it's just going to do it. Maybe it'll pick up at 83 and continue on. Someday. I do know these doors take a while to cut open, but I'm thinking this is getting extreme. Uh, I think we might be in trouble. Uh, stalker! Alright, I'm going to have to take a break from that, because if you notice... Uh, I am in deep, deep, deep trouble because I have no food and no water with me. And we're hungry and thirsty. So I'm going to take a, a quick trip back over here to the life pod. Whoa! Calm down there, big fella. And we're going to have to try and figure out what it is we're going to do, peeps, because we are apparently stranded here for something like nine, 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 nine thousand years. Uh, I don't remember exactly how much it is. Oh, everything's turned back on. I don't understand that. Okay, let's have a look at some food and water. Here's a little bit of water. We're going to need all of it. Uh, and I'm going to cook up two... Yeah, I, I'm getting there. We're going to cook two peepers. I think that'll be enough. We're, uh, we're going to have to find a more stable source of food and water. Especially if we're going to have a hope at surviving here for any great length of time, which... We have to survive here for a great length of time. I actually need more uh, hot peeper action. Wow. There we go, some more hot peeper action. And do we have any more water? I'll have one more water. Wow. I just completely obliterated all of our stuff. Okay, so in retrospect, we are stranded. Uh, this is a thing that that is a thing. I'm going to... There we go, get... Everything put back the way it was. I'm just going to come down here. We have to try and take uh, an inventory of what we got going on. So we've got lots and lots of titanium. Uh, not that it's a big deal. I got... I need copper. Or what do I have? Gold here? So this is rubies. Let's put diamonds in with rubies. These are gel sacks. That I don't know what they're used for. So all of my stuff looks like the labels have come off it. Interesting. Interesting. Silver and gold. There's a song that goes along those lines that I'm not going to sing to you. Lithium. Yeah, so we have lots and lots of things. Uh, excuse me? And I... Guys, I, I just I don't know what to do. I feel like we're in a bad way. I feel like we're in a bad way. And I just don't know a way around that bad way. Uh, excuse me, sorry. Crystal... Well, you're going to get some diamonds. 
More crystal. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Okay, so I think priority one is going to have to be... Uh, we need more food and water. And I'm going to need to make some batteries. So let's get some... Some hot peepers and some hot bladders on the go. Um, the big problem with batteries is it takes a, a specific resource, which is copper, which isn't the easiest thing in the world to find. I do have a good supply of it right now, but I feel like we're going to need more. Is that a hoop fish? Where we're going to let the hoop fish go. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, let's see if we can figure out battery stuff. So we've got 5% battery remaining in the sea, or power cell remaining in the sea moth. So we're going to have to find a way to fix that. Looks like our... Sea glide is just about dead, and everything else actually looks like it's pretty okay. We did apparently learn a couple of new things, like we know the repulsion cannon and the light stick, which I, I don't understand. And I think we learned some more equipment, maybe? Compass we already have, fins we already have. I think we need the modification station is what we really need. Oh, here we go. We can squirt some of this stuff in here, like these ion cubes. Uh, I've got an extra one of these guys. That can go in there. They can have this lead and this lithium. And a diamond. I'll keep a gold with me. Oh, no. I need... Man, oh, man. So much stuff. Let's take this and this out. And let's take... Let's get take this lead out of here, because we do have a good amount of lead. I want to put these tablets in here. And a gold, and we'll put a lead back in. Okay, let's make up. Oh, God. I gotta... We, we gotta stabilize. I'm gonna get stabilized here. I'm gonna get some resources ready to go. And then I think what we're gonna have to do, guys, is we're gonna have to build a base. But in order to do that, we're gonna have to get some more power cells on the go. Uh, so I'm gonna get some stuff set. So we have spade fish queued. Let's get rid of that. I am going to need... What's this? Advanced materials? Oh yeah, we had a look at that already. Electronics, advanced wiring kits. Okay, so I'm going to need at least one battery. So let's get a battery queued, and I'm going to need a power cell. So that means we're going to need two batteries. Oh gosh. Alright, I'll BRBs guys after I've got some stuff set. And we're back. Okay, so two battery silicone rubber, power cell. And nailed it. Okay, so I think we're good now for power. Uh, let's. How do we do this? Seamoth. Aha! Power cell. And give it this guy. And let's hop in it. And shut the light off. Now it also needs a repair. Oh, well, that's why we couldn't cut the door open, peeps. Duh. We we're using the friggin' repair tool. Why didn't you guys tell me? Ah, uh, it's okay. It's alright. I'm not gonna hold it against you. I promise. Let's have, um... Okay, what am I gonna do here? I'm gonna take that peeper. I feel like we're gonna take these out of here. I'm gonna leave the peepers. And I'm gonna take one water with me. We'll squirt that stuff in there. And there's the power cell. Okay, let's go see if we can figure out... Uh, what was actually in that door without trying to repair it this time. Yeah, it looks like it's this way. And we were only a couple hundred meters away. Excuse me, bubble butt. Pardon me, buddy. I gotta squeeze through here. Yeah, yeah. What a guy. He's just floating on by and he just... does that. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's a fish. I thought it was an actual something. My bad. Okay, so that wreck should be around here somewhere. How far away from the life pod are we? A few hundred meters, so it's around here somewhere. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, that's the Aurora. So where is that island? I think it's over here. I think it's this way. Is this it? No, this isn't it. This is the one that we've... Uh, we, this is the one I think we actually died in. So this is not the one. I'm gonna have to find it. I 
we're back. I figured the easiest thing to do was just to head back to the island, which is right over there. <clears throat> I know you can't see it, but then I just started heading home and I found it again. So here's the wreck we couldn't get into. Freaking stalker, man. Check it out. Oh, he's got the herp derps on him. Ugh. Okay. Although, technically speaking, I think that that thing said that I was infected too, so I don't know, maybe I've got the herp derps on me. What is this? Mobile Vehicle Bay Fragment. Okay. Let's get a scan on this guy. Oh, we've already got it. Oh, whoa, 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 big fella. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill out. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, let's get out our laser cutter. And there we go. Now it's going to let us open the friggin' door, man. All right. Let's, uh... Let's make it a little easier on ourselves. I'm going to put this away. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to align this right here like so. All right, let's go. And we're in. Let's get our scanner tool out. What do we have? PDA. Excitement. Loudness. New PDA data. Stalker trying to come through. Stasis rifle fragment. I think we already have this guy. We did not. We do now. And another stasis rifle, rifle fragment. I mean, we may as well have it. Is there anything else in here that's worth, like, looking at? Because, hello, what are you? No signal. No crap. Oh. Air, air vent. How's our oxygen? Minute and a half. I think we're good. Oh, it actually lets us out? What? There was a way in the whole time? I tell you. Uh, hot bladder action. Come back, bladder. But he's gone. Okay, we don't worry about him. All right. Very good. We can scan up and carry on our way then back to base. Um, I haven't found anything else. I have been... Whoa, calm down, homie. Uh, I have been on the lookout for a base. Um, I don't know... I think we're going to have to have one, right? I mean... We're going to be stranded here for 9 million years, so we should probably have a base. And I don't necessarily know where I want to put, though. What are you guys? What are you? Come back, homie. What are you? Hoverfish. I think I must have already scanned it. Creep vine. Okay, we're all good. Uh, yeah, I need to find a spot to put a base. I just don't know where I'm going to put the base. Hello. This is one of these life pods we've already checked out, I'm assuming. Life pod 3? Yeah, we've been to life pod 3. So, yeah, I mean, base. Uh, hot base action is required. I just don't know where to put it. I know I don't want to be anywhere near this guy, the Aurora. Um, the Aurora worries me. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to come over this way and see if we can find anything over here. I do want to be uh, a good bit, a few hundred meters anyway for sure, away from our regular life pod. But, ooh, ooh, hot hot dive down. Oh, crap. Wait. Ow. Sorry. Sorry. Is that... What is this? I saw one of these earlier. Stalker Tooth. Okay. I know you're cranky behind me, buddy, but... Can I pick it up? I can. Okay. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you, Carly. We gotta go. We're getting attacked. Okay. And I think, uh, yeah, I kind of want it to be away from the regular life pod towards perhaps some deeper waters. Oh, it's Kevin. Where'd he go? I hear you, Kevin. I don't know, man. He's here somewhere. Uh, and I was thinking down in this area might be kind of cool. Because... What are you? Oh, this looks like a hot reactor fragment piece. Let's check it out. Bioreactor fragment? Yeah. Okay, we're gone. Man, the sand sharks are down here. Uh, yeah, I was thinking this area might be kind of cool down here. Because it's uh, it's an area we've been before. Oh, there's another hot wreck action. It looks like there's stuff down here we haven't scanned. Like, that looks like something we haven't scanned, right? Scanner room fragment, although I believe we have them all anyway. But yeah, I was thinking at least 100 meters down, maybe 200 meters down. Take our Seamoth right to the depths, to the limit of where it can go. Whoa, 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 whoa. And, uh, and it might not be horrible. 
I mean, this game is pretty, uh, pretty spooky. Ah. Ah, the mushroom forest biome. I don't think I necessarily want to be here. But, something like this. I mean, we're 120. Oh, we're going to have to repair this guy. We're having some, uh, some hot, ow, issues with our sea moth, and we don't want to lose it. Okay. See, I was thinking somewhere down around here. Uh, like I said, I don't necessarily know if I want to be with the mushroom forest biome, but it is to the depth I wish it to be. Um, yeah, it's just a matter of finding where we actually want to be. What do you guys think? Oh, mushroom forest action. Oh, look at this. Oh, dude, this goes deep. Oh, look at this. What is this? What do we have here? What is that? Oh, guys. It's got a giant floater on it. Ancient floater deal. This feels a little bit dangerous, I'm not going to lie. We are pushing the limits here. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. I understand. What are you? Blood vine. Okay. Hot. Blood vine action. The music changed all of a sudden. What is this? Deep Shroom? Okay, Deep Shroom. Uh, deep Shroom action. Wow, look at it go. Alright, I, I feel like uh, I'm not ready. Uh, we're pretty deep. Deeper than what uh, I want to be, and I don't like that music, man. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm high-tailing out here. This is cool! I feel like it's not a spot I want to be right now. All right, I'm gonna keep scrolling around, searching around for uh, for a decent base location. Uh, is this more hot precursor alien technology action? Whoa, whoa, bone shark, homie, calm down. Yeah, it sure is. Can we get in here? I don't want to go in here. I feel like I'm getting sucked in. I don't want to get sucked in. Did we scan you already? Are you are you here? Do you want to fight? Yeah, you want to fight? You want to go? Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, let's go. All right, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep looking around for a hot base action. Uh, I I think we uh, I think I, I found a spot I, I liked in the red vine biome, something or other, the red grass kind of deal. Um, I'll see if I can find that, and I'll BRBs. And we're back. I was just floating around trying to find a base location. Found this wreck with a sealed door. Figured we'd cut into it and see what's what. Probably gonna have to cut the door open and then go get some more O2. Although it is going down pretty slow, but we're running out of food and water again really fast. Just trying to find this location. I think where I'm at right now is actually pretty good. Uh, I'll go over it with you guys here in a second. All right. Let's have a look inside here. What do we have here? We still don't know what that is. Open supply crate. Yeah. Oh, oh, take item. What's in here? Bottled water, that's excellent. That'll help us stay out a little longer. Propulsion cannon fragment, I think I've already got that, yeah. And I don't really see, oh, oh, what do we have here? Modification station fragment, okay, we've already got that. Huh, so... Kinda disappointing, modification station fragment, we've already got it. So, we're gonna bail on this guy. Oh, here's another door that we can open. And then we'll go out and we'll have a look at this base location. Okay, it just takes us out here. Alright, not a big deal. Not a big deal. It's just a little wreck. Nothing serious. Let's, uh, let's go inside here. Let me have another drink of that water. Alright, so this is where I'm at. Uh, I actually have no idea where it is. Where's the, uh, the main pod? Over here. We're about 700 meters, well, 700-ish meters away. Um, there's a number of just little wrecks around in the area, but I'm thinking somewhere around here might be good. It's not, 
it doesn't seem to be super dangerous. Plus, we've got our friends uh, floating around. You can hear them moaning at us every now and then, which is great. I actually, I really like. Yeah, there they are. Look, it's a whole, a whole group. It's Kevin and and Jessica and Steve again. Um, they're just hanging out here with us, and I think that'd be kind of cool. And I'm thinking I could just, I could put the base like, I don't know, like hanging off one of these edges. I think that would be kind of cool. We're close enough to the kelp biome. We can get some mushrooms if we need them. There's there's all kinds of stuff here, man. I think this is the spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take note of where I am. It looks like I head north from the main pod. No. We head this direction. Southeast would be northwest from the main pod. Yeah, right there. And then we'll just come to this area. And it looks like we're near the mushroom forest still. Yeah, we are still near the mushroom forest. I don't know. I don't know if I want to be near the mushroom forest because that's where they said those Leviathan things, thin things were. So I don't know. Maybe we'll keep looking. It looks cool. I don't know. I'm going to keep looking. I'll be RBs. What is that? What are you? What was that? Okay. That was freaky. I'm just still out here looking for mobile, mobile bases and scanning fragments and stuff. And this thing just kind of took over everything. I'm over here on the other side of the Aurora. That was freaky, man. I don't know what it was. I gotta stay clear of the Aurora. It's still, uh, it's, it's, it's hurting me every time I get close to it. I guess it's radioactive. Uh, which I have a radiation suit. I should probably put that on and we could probably go check some of that stuff out. But, I don't know, man. Where am I here? How far away are we? Where's the main pod? There it is. We are about 500 meters. I'm gonna go check out this other side. Yeah, here we are. The, the this is the... the the red grass biome thing. This is where I found the base before, and we do have uh, we do have Aaron over here just uh, chilling out with us. I think, yeah, his little his little buddy Cameron's over there too. So this stuff's all here. I wonder if there's anything in there. Do you got anything in here, homie? I saw a scanner deal for a second. Uh, crapo. So yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I did really like this place. There was a couple of spots over here that I really liked. And there are some wrecks and stuff for us to explore, which isn't a big deal, I know, but having wrecks to explore is kind of fun every now and then. But this wouldn't be horrible. Oh, yeah. We could... I don't know, set something up around one of these... one of these guys. Or up off the top of one of these. Is that a life pod? Yeah, the life pod over there. So there's a bigger wreck, yeah, right here. So, I'm thinking this is going to be the spot. Where are we? So we're 650 meters over here somewhere. I'm going to head back to base. Uh, I'm going to craft craft up a beacon. I think is probably the best thing to do. So this is life pod 17. We'll turn on... Here's what we'll do. We'll turn on life pod 17 so we'll know where we want to we want to come back to. I'm going to go grab some materials, uh, get some food in me, and then we're going to start building peeps. I'll, I'll be back. I don't know what the freaky thing was. And we're back again. I'm just having a look at some of these things that I'm going to want to build. I'm, I was thinking I want to build this large room, but I don't think I have the stuff I need to build it. Like, I need the plasteel ingots, and I don't know what those are, so I'm probably going to have to build with, I think the multi-purpose room is going to be the thing to do. Uh, it just takes titanium, and then I'm going to want to get into some of these other things I'm just looking at, man. They look cool. Um, thermal plant. I see aerogel. I don't know what aerogel is. Solar panels, we need quartz, and copper. So we are going to have to take a fair bit of stuff around with us. Now, I do have a bunch of this titanium. And I am going to cook up a... No, I'm not going to cook up anything, am I? Not a bloody thing. I'm lying to you guys. Uh, I was going to cook up a peeper, but I think I'm just going to bring it with me, and we're going to make stuff when we're over there now. I need none of this. I need 
a lot of titanium and I need some copper, I think is what I'm going to need. So let's take a little bit of copper with us and we're just going to take a whole bunch of titanium. Maybe a little crystal. A little crystal never hurt anybody, right? What's in here? More copper and gold. All right, let's just grab the rest of this in titanium. I think we're all full. Okay, uh, we're all full. I've got some stuff just in case stuff goes sideways. We're full on food. I think our water's going to be okay. All right, we're going to hop back in the sea moth. Boy, oh boy, I hope I'm not messing this up too bad. We'll be our bees. And we're back. And under cover of darkness. I think I've decided... This is the spot. Right here. We're a fair bit away from the main base. We're 90 meters down. We'll be a little bit more after I build, but I think this is what I want. I kind of want to have a base that overhangs a cliff. And every time I get closer to one of these cliff kind of deals, uh, usually a sand shark comes up and just goes absolutely bananas, which drives me a little bit crazy, I'm not going to lie. But this is a decent place, man. We got our reef backs uh, growling and making noises at us, which is awesome. I love them. They're awesome. They look cool. So, yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be our spot. So let's get some of this organized before we get out of uh, the sea moth. Now, I'm going to need this instead of this. All right, here we go. So, first thing we're going to need, uh, I think, is this multi-purpose room. Whoa, 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 it's, uh, it's kind of big. Okay, oh wow, it's, uh, it's, it's like super big. I kind of want to, I can't see. So, hmm. Let's put it, I mean, let's put it right here. Maybe we don't want a multi-purpose room. Do we need... Do we need a foundation? Maybe we need a foundation. I don't have the lead. So it looks like multi-purpose room is going down first. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Can we go down? See? Yeah, over here. Up just a touch. Looks like right here is the winner. Let's have a look at it. We'll squirt it down and see how it looks. And there it is. One multi-purpose room. Now, we need to be able to get into it, it so I... It be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. Okay. Thank you, Alexa. So now we've got a hatch, so we can come inside. And ladies and gentlemen, peeps. Emergency power only. Oxygen production uh, offline. How do we get oxygen? We have no power. We must need power. Where do we get power from? Solar panels? Can we put a solar panel right here and that be enough? Let's put a solar panel there. Uh, we need quartz. Okay, that's no problem. We can go get more quartz. And let's have another one right here. Because why wouldn't you want to have a couple of solar panels? Alright, let's, uh, let's squirt back in the sea moth just for a little oxygen. Let's have a look at it, man. All right, so we've got a room and we've got a thing. It's kind of kind of ugly. I don't like the legs. Mm, yeah, I don't really like the legs. I think I don't have a whole lot of choice in the legs, though, so that's okay. Jeez, man, there's a lot of fish around here that I bump into. Look at them. They're just kind of kind of dunched, dunched, kind of douched. Um, but yeah. All right, so let's go back. Let's see. What else can we have here? So we've got one multi-purpose room. I would really, really, really like to have this big room thing a large room oh man this looks like a thing that we might have to upgrade to uh can we turn it oh we can we can turn it right here would be good but i can't put it down because we don't have any of the stuff that we need to put it down so maybe we're gonna have to live out of one base for right now yeah i think that's what we'll have to do we're just gonna have to live out of here for right now now, I wonder, can we stack these guys? We cannot. That's okay. Uh, I don't necessarily need to stack them. Can we come inside here? There's some stuff that I need. Uh, like, I'm... Oh, yeah, this is going to be... Uh, this is going to be okay. Uh, I need storage. So, is there interior modules? Here we are. And large storage lockers. Here we are. So, I want to kind of get them as close to the wall as they can be. Let's... Oh. We did it wrong. Sorry, we're used to doing it wrong. So how do we look like that? 
I don't like it. Uh, yeah, so I don't like it. So we can Q to deconstruct. So can we do that again, but put it over here? How's that? Much better. Much, much better. Can we have two of them? Oh, yeah, we can, baby. All right, so we've got two of them now. What do we need? We need quartz. I forgot all... I left all the quartz at home. Do we have a surplus? You know what? I wonder if... Let's try this. So if I go like this, can I... It won't let me drop the stuff? Seriously? I can't drop the stuff. All right, so we're going to have to head back to base. Uh, I need quartz, and we're just going to fill up on quartz, and then I'll be back. Uh, so don't go away, guys. Oh, wow. The reef backs want to get real close to us. Uh, we'll be our bees with some quartz. And we're back. Okay, let's get this done. Uh, stop. Okay. Wall or locker. Another locker. Ladies and gentle peeps, we've done it. Okay. Let's go outside and see if we can get some oxygen in this bad boy with a solar panel. Uh, copper ore. We did not bring the copper ore. No problem. No problem. We've got lots of O2. We're good to go. Plasteel ingots we don't have. Um... Let's get another locker. I mean, I think we're going to need a lot of storage. So, I kind of want to make a lot of storage, you know? Maybe we should go like this. Put them a little separated. Yeah, that doesn't look horrible, right? I mean, it's not, it's not horrible. What else are we going to need in this place? A fabricator? I feel like we're going to need a fabricator. That needs gold. That's fine. Can I get a couple of wall lockers, maybe? We can make wall lockers. Oh, yeah, baby. Make all the wall lockers. Okay, we got a couple wall lockers. What else can we make in this place that we're going to need? Radio. I feel like a radio is the thing we're going to need. Can we put that, like, right here? Yeah, right next to the door. Okay. Apparently, there's a radio signal waiting for us. What else? Man. Oh, we've got to look at grow bed. Can we, can we? We can grow stuff. I completely forgot we can grow stuff. Hmm. I hope we can walk over. I'm going to put the grow bed right here. Yeah, that means we can go and we can get seeds and stuff and try and grow our own things. 30 seconds, 30 seconds of oxygen. We're going to bail out. But I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to keep working on putting this base together. Uh, slow and steady, I'm just going to start moving stuff over. But that's going to be it for today. We are super out of uh, time. So I want to thank you guys very much for coming to hang out with me on this kind of weird episode. A uh, little bit of base building done. We're going to keep on working at it. I'll full, get a, a big full reveal for you for the next episode. And then we're going to have to check out some more of these, uh, these signals that we're getting and try and figure out what's going on. If there's other survivors, we should try and hook up with them. But thanks very much for coming to hang out with me today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget just a friendly reminder to go ahead and smash the thumbs up button and show your support. Feel free to share the video around the internet as you see fit as we get attacked by the fishes. Have a great rest of your day, peeps. Really, buddy? GG's. <laughs>